Today I will show you how we can document mountains, rocks, like this one, in high resolution. With the climate change we have a lot of rockfall and that's very dangerous, so we have to document the mountains. So <clears throat> you can see that's very difficult terra here and we have a lot of stones. That's the resolution actually from Google Earth. We will see later on on the result from the photogrammetry what we get with the map creator. I searched this region with the, the name of the, the mountain. And now we will change to satellite so we can see this rock and I will explain you some new functions from the map creator. If we will document terras like this, we have to use uh, very precise elevations. So I implemented in this version the GPXZ IO elevation. I will later on show you the details on that. In Switzerland we have 2 meters resolution. That's very precise. If you use standard uh, Google Maps or other uh, tools, you are about 25 or 30 meters and that's not precise enough. What we also will use is triangulation. And I will show you the other settings later. I will also change the altitude to 18 meters. I'm actually located about here to take the, the shots. Here we have the ridge. So it's very important that we be aware about this altitude here. Now I will start to make a mission with the triangulation. First we draw a polygon. And it's important to choose very wisely the first waypoint. I will show you later why this is important. So we will start about here. Then I go down to the location where I will start the, the aircraft. Then I will go on this point here. It is important that you move the image to the center as it is represented a little bit in 3D mode. And now I will follow this line here, place the point there, and now I will go on to the ridge of the mountain. There we will be a little bit more than 120 meters from altitude. And I will do the same on the ridge here. If we go back um, to see what I mean with that, <clears throat> the ridge is here and I placed my line here. So that's very important for the triangulation that I have surfaces here and surfaces here for the mission. Now I will change the resolution, 25 meters it's too uh, high. I will go down about 8 meters or even 7 meters and always check the distance for the time. That's important that you can do that with one battery. And if you have uh, a lot of change of altitude, this uh, time will increase. So we have about 300 uh, images and now uh, we have everywhere, I will stop the, the edit mode, we have everywhere 18 meters and I will start now the very precise elevation of this miss mission and I will also do the triangulation. We have here a representation uh, in 3D mode of the, the whole mission with all the triangles and what is important to check it's the flight path between the triangles we can change that to security mode, then the, yeah, the aircraft will go up, change the, 
the distance between triangles with the maximum height. So that's very important that you check here. You can check here the, the path between the triangles. Now, if we have a look on the altitude, 119 meters and 69 meters, we can see that here. So uh, <clears throat> I suppose that I will not, I, I'm not on the ridge here. What you can see here is the, the red circle. That's the lowest altitude from the whole mission. And it will also calculate the whole mission from this point. And that's the reason why I start the mission here. You can see it goes a little bit up on, the, on this way here. So we can always check the, the mission with this 3D mode here. Now, uh, another point uh, who is very important. We can now uh, move the whole mission. We have to move the whole mission. I will not go up to the ridge here. So <clears throat> there is a new function. I will just uh, go back here. And I can drag the whole mission with this function. So I will go away from the ridge. I choose this point here. You can see I go away from the ridge. It will not change here the, the, the mission altitude. It's just important that we will have the ridge here. And so we have a distance between this point and the ridge. So I can take the rock here. It's the climbing rock. And here we have all the, the stones. So we can always check this here uh, with this 3D mode. Now you can see it's not uh, very logic uh, how I do the mission here. We can change now the heating. And you can always see the result from the triangulation in the 3D mode. Something like that. <clears throat> and I uh, see here that I have not changed for my aircraft to DJI Fly. I will use the Mavic 3. <clears throat> so for each uh, picture we have a waypoint. It's about uh, now 400 uh, waypoints. There's no limitation for the waypoints. So you have always to check that we can fill here our triangles with images. That's very important. Then I can change the camera pitch angle to minus 55 degree. But I will show you later on in DJI Fly. I will change the mission. Uh, I will not use a pitch angle in the direction of the flight uh, direction. I will add a point of interest here so that the aircraft always points in this direction and take the images in this direction here. But you will see that later. Uh, on the iPad, how we can uh, change that in DJI Fly. So that's <coughs> one of the, the mission. I take uh, two, uh, I, two missions for this uh, documentation. And the second mission will be a, a Helix. Now what we have to do is to save the ComSet file. I will rename it. It's a DJI Fly mission. It's I will add the location and I will also add the system I used as a triangul triangulated uh, mission. And I will directly save that in the cloud so I can uh, later on load it on place into DJI Fly. So we will save that. And now we will change to 3D mode. Into 3D mode we have the helix uh, function. I always add helix uh, as the pitch angle points in each direction and that gives more uh, <clears throat> intersection points for the photogrammetry software. So the result will be much better if you use a helix uh, and a triangulated mission. I will add <coughs> the helix.
And now <clears throat> what we can see, we are about 15 meters. I will also go up to 18 meters. <clears throat> and we are actually not on this uh, terra, on the elevation. Also be aware that you fly not directly into this rock here. So I will add the elevation. And now you can see the result. So the whole mission is now on this uh, elevation surface from this rock here, from the, from the stones. So that's also uh, completely new and I know nothing else. I know no other software you can do that. Okay, <clears throat> now we will save this Helix mission. You have directly the, the name. I will just change the location. And I will save it. Now I like to show you some basic uh, functionality. I will go back to the 2D mode. <clears throat> so uh, here I have a, a big screen. I'm on Mac OS. If you are on the iPhone, you have uh, not this big surface to place the mission. So I add a new function. You can hide the menus. That's very useful on the iPhone. That's one of the, the new functions. And now I will uh, show you a little bit basic functionality of the polygon. So we will add a new mission. Something like that. I will go to 18 meters. <clears throat> what you already know, you can add cross paths here. Always be aware about number of images and flight time. So it's uh, <clears throat> about eight minutes. You can also change the flight time later on DJI Fly or DJI Pilot, but you have to be aware that between two uh, waypoints, two images, you have at last two seconds to save the image in JPEG mode and up to five seconds if you use raw images. That's important to know. For photogrammetry uh, like this, with a lot of images, I always use JPEG, so I can uh, be much faster to document the, the region. There is no big difference. We have not to have high quality of the, the images. So I always use JPEG images. Now, uh, what you can see here, we can add new uh, waypoints. I will just uh, unselect this one. What we can do now, I will go back and unselect drag all. We can uh, move waypoints. So click on the waypoint. It's the same on the iPhone. First click on the waypoint. You have some information. And now we can drag this waypoint. So that's one point. You can select this waypoint. You can say add new. And now it will add a new <coughs> waypoint after the waypoint you have selected. So you can always add waypoints at each uh, point you, you like. That's also something important to know. And I showed you before, if we will track the whole mission, we go back here. And then we can just select one of the waypoints. And if I move now, I will track the whole mission. We can always change the, the heading. Even uh, after the add elevation, it will not change the, the elevation. Uh, <clears throat> something uh, to be aware, uh, if you use very precise uh, elevation like GPXZ, each time <clears throat> it's, it's a counter, you choose an uh, elevation. And I will only uh, get the elevations of the polygon points and I will calculate all the inner points with uh, my algorithm. So there are not a lot of points to get with this elevation mode. Uh, in Google Maps, for example, uh, on Google, the SDK you pay for each elevation you get. 
So it's important that we limit the number of get of the elevation. That's, that's the reason if one time I've added the elevation, I can change the distance, I can change the heating. It will not affect the inner side of the, the polygon. I can also change the altitude. Now, <clears throat> what we will do here on this mission, we will not use a triangulation. It's a simple uh, surface. So I will go back and unselect triangulate. And now I will add the elevation. Uh, what you can see here, I have added the surface of this uh, polygon. So you can have uh, 10, 20 points of polygon. I will always check the, the surface and make one surface if you do not use triangulation. And then uh, if you have choose that, you, you see always the start point at 18 meters. And what we can do now, uh, elevation is set on the polygon. We can change the heating. We can change the distance. You always see the result in the 3D mode here. And we can also change the altitude if you go here. Uh, select this one. I'm now at 20 meters. If I go back to 18, I'm at 18 meters. But I will not lose the uh, information about the surface for the triangulation. So that's important to know how to use uh, the edit mode uh, to select these waypoints. Now I will explain some differences between DJI Fly app and DJI Pilot. So in DJI Fly, we have for each image a waypoint. That's important that we have the action to take an image. And if we go to DJI Pilot, we have only <coughs> the edges from the mission. So we have less uh, waypoints. And we will trigger the distance for the photos into the mission. This is always one setting, so you can also edit it later into the DJI Pilot to have the trigger distance and also the speed. It's important also here that we have at last two seconds per waypoint per image that the, the SD card has enough time to save the, the image. And we can always change uh, this uh, independent on the, of the elevations, also the, the grid, the heating of the grid to have the, the best values for this mission. Uh, now I will show you how we can add a dummy mission without being connected with the aircraft on an iPad. So we just launched the tutorial, choose our aircraft. I lately used the Mavic 3. And then go to camera view. And now I am in the camera view. I am not connected to the aircraft. <clears throat> I can open uh, my map. And I can also select one of my waypoints uh, missions. So I will choose uh, the latest one, the, the helix on the rock. The difficulty, if you are not, are not connected, you have to find your mission. It's here. So I can see uh, I'm not online with the with the aircraft and I have my mission here. Now what I will do, I will create a new mission. So I will stop this mission without saving. And I repeat, I am not connected. Now I will add a new mission. Just two uh, waypoints tab on the screen. It's not important what you do here. And then we will save this mission. You can see I have now here on top uh, my new mission. We will save it. 
And the advantage of this uh, that gives us a new folder. And we go to DJI Fly, Wayline Mission. And I can see here I created today uh, this new mission with this folder code and I will re then rename this current set file with my own new mission. So now I will just copy here a new mission. I go to my iCloud Drive. I will just take uh, one of the latest I did today. So fly uh, the, the second one here. And then I will copy this, go back into the folder and paste the mission here. Now I have to rename this mission. I click on this one, just on renaming, double tap, select copy, then I will rename that, take my one, change the name, double tap, replace and save. Now I will go back to uh, the chair fly. And I will load this mission. I first to end this one and I have my new mission here. Now <clears throat> this mission I created today uh, before you saw it in the map curator. It's a triangulated mission. We will just uh, check uh, we have 305 waypoints. If I take for example this one I have an altitude from 113 meters. I have a speed from 3.5 seconds and a gimbal of 50, minus 56 degrees. Now, as it is a triangulated mission, I will change something on this, as uh, we have a steam uh, rock here with the ridge. So I will go back there and add now a point of interest here. Uh, and I will also edit this point. 50 meters, it's uh, the between uh, altitude from the whole mission, so it's uh, quite a good default value. You can change that, for example, to 20 meters. Now I will go back to the waypoints. Now we can select uh, one of the waypoints, it's not important uh, which one. So I will choose uh, this one here. And I will change now the direction, it's not on the flight path. I will change it to the point of interest. Uh, you can see uh, it has the gimbal angle to the point of interest and the direction. And now I will uh, select uh, to do this for all my waypoints. Okay, and you can see now all my waypoints are pointing to this point of interest. And that's quite interesting for this mission here, so that we have the best result with the photogrammetry. So it's very easy to do that. You can also change the, the speed, for example, for the whole mission uh, <coughs> or uh, other settings. Now, if this mission is uh, okay like that, I will just go back here and I will save now my new mission. If I have a look now on my missions, you can see also the small pictogram is now new. I can reload the mission and I have the mission here. What I actually will do, uh, I will go back without saving and just tab here uh, don't forget to rename your missions so that you can later find what you have done. I will always choose the region and add uh, some information if it is a helix mission or a point of interest uh, like 
this one here. And now <clears throat> you can see all my missions have uh, names, not numbers or dates. It's uh, much more easier to, to find them later on. So we have seen that quite in quick, some seconds, we have very quick the, the mission and I'm, I repeat, I'm not connected with my aircraft. I can do that without. Now, another interesting point, uh, if you will share your missions, I will just go back here. If I have a look on the latest one, <clears throat> it has had, uh, even deleted the, uh, the old one I renamed. You get always the mission cover here. And now what we can do, DJI Fly, Wildline Mission, I can, for example, select some of these missions and I can copy them to the iCloud I, and I can use these missions on an iPhone or the other iPad, uh, always for DJI Fly. The DJI Fly uh, ComZ file is not compatible with the DJI Pilot. You have to be aware about that. You can always save in the Map Creator both one. You can first save the, the mission KMZ uh, file for DJI Fly and then for DJI Pilot if you choose later on uh, your aircraft. But uh, most of the, of the pilots have only uh, a few aircraft, so for example only the DJI Fly and not both uh, DJI Pilot and DJI Fly, but you have this possibility. And I can also share, I will do that, that in this for this video, the missions uh, for you, you can download them. I will post into the comment uh, section the links where we can download these missions. There is a other point to be aware. We cannot change uh, missions between Android and iPhone. That's unfortunately not possible. The set file will be the same, but the folder name is uh, different. So you have to do it again on Android. You cannot use this, the folder name from iOS. But iOS is compatible with all iPads, all iOS devices you have. So we can exchange these missions. Now I will just show you some impressions during the flight from these uh, three missions. I took to document this uh, rock. So I loaded here the last mission, the Helix mission. I already flew the two other missions. The flight time of this mission is about 11 minutes. I just speed up a little bit that you can see how it works. Here we can see the rendering results. First meta shape. The second one is a mesh room with standard uh, values and the last one uh, is reality capture with 10 million uh, triangulations. So I reduced from 71 million to 10 millions to have this image here. So we have on all three applications good results. You can actually test a beta version of the map creator so it's free for use to test I like to use a very precise uh, elevation data set you can go on the home page from gpxz.io to see how it works so there we have the references on the precision on the elevation data it goes from 0 0.5 meter up to 30 meters and more and it's uh, the United States and Europe where we have very high uh, precision. In Switzerland we have uh, two meters from the Swiss Topo um, elevation data set. So that's interesting to see uh, if you like to do uh, similar things. I recommend that you use a very precise uh, elevation data set. It's the result in Reality Capture 1.4 for this mission. 
I use a simplified model here with 10 million uh, triangles. The first result was 71 million, but that's too large to, to go further in Blender. It's too complicated and even with uh, 10 million uh, we get very high accuracy and a super result. What you can see here is one uh, triangulated mission, one uh, polygon mission who is put on a surface from elevation and one helix mission to complete all the view details. So let's a little bit zoom in to see what we get here. We can see each stone even with a simplified uh, model from 10 million uh, triangles. So it's very precise what we get here. And as you can see, it's only possible if you follow the Terra to document uh, rocks like that. And that's something important today with the climatic change. We have each year more and more rock fall uh, in the mountain massifs. And that's very important that we can document them uh, very precise with photogrammetry, even with easy drones like the Mavic 3. So this was done with the Mavic 3 with uh, DJI Fly app. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.